here we are with the uh, Super Takano maiden flight, getting her ready, putting in the battery. It takes a minute to uh, initialize. Got a spectrum receiver in it, and it's with a satellite. Uh, gyro is off. Checking the surfaces, make sure they're going the right way. Right, do a right aileron. Left aileron. Yep, left aileron. That's not a lot of throw on that aileron. That's what the book said. Low, okay. low rates by the book. Your eleva elevator up, down. Looks good. I swear that elevator looks straight, but... Do you a run oh, check fine. to see if it tracks straight or anything? Push it or anything? We're going to find out in a minute that um, the elevator is an issue. Yeah, it looks good. <clears throat> nice turning radius. <laughs> Got her CG. So. You wouldn't guess there would be a problem, but... Have takeoff flaps on. This thing has a lot of power. A little bit over half throttle, just lifts off and goes straight up. Flaps up, gear up. Headed for the clouds. Trying to push her back down. Um, going into the clouds. <laughs> We're trying to trim it down. Yeah, elevator looks clouds straight. A little bit. Elevator looks straight, but it is going straight up. And we're just a little bit above half throttle. <laughs> Thinking I'm going to have to take it back to the bench and work that elevator a little bit, adjust it, uh, give it some a little bit more down. A little bit of a breeze, but not bad.
trying to simultaneously get her to come back down a little bit and adjust the elevator because it needed a lot of down. Pilot Mike and Pilot Matt are both great helpers on a maiden. We all try to help each other. You think that flight controller's fighting you? Uh, flight controller's off. It's off? Yeah, the gyro, gyro is off. No AS3X. Just need to be trimmed out. Now it's starting to go a little straighter. I needed a little bit of left too. Not much, just a few clicks. Pilot Mike's telling me bring it in. We're at the end of the timer. I set a four minute timer on uh, 5200 battery. the table and adjust it. And she lands. Beautiful. Oh, that was pretty. Good yeah. job, Jimmy. Good job. And the reverse. <laughs> <laughs> and the braking. I want to see how that's trimmed. The battery is about this much. Could go back about this much more. Yep. So, so we had the battery a little forward. Oh, <laughs> yeah, don't hit the gear switch. <laughs> I heard you guys hitting that thing like crazy. I think the ceiling is probably at about two, three hundred feet max. Maybe less in some spots. It's kind of a gray day for a gray plane, and the clouds were low. Wow, that's a lot. There, there had been morning fog. You know what it is? What? They're not lined up, I don't think. Are they not? One's up, one's down. See? They gotta, you have to trim the one on the right. Okay. It's actually one Yeah, piece, it's not so. even. I have to take it back and adjust it. That's actually, it's doing it because the other one on the other side's yeah. up. Uh, yep. That's why it was going so much. Yeah. So I hold it on. Yeah, that one's just, they're not lined up right. Are they separate though? Or are they? No, they're connected. They, am I wrong? Am I looking at that right? One's up higher than the other. Or, or they're different. Battery is 57% after a four minute flight. 
Yeah, the, the, this side looks like it's a little bit higher than the other. Yeah, yeah, it does. This one is down a little bit, that one's up a little bit. Yeah. But on the plane, at least for here, it looks good. That's down. What I would do is I would figure out how much trim you have in there and just change that connection to how much trim do you put in that thing. Most all you're down, basically. Yep. So I would figure out where that's at and basically put that to neutral and turn that in to, yeah. to correct it. You know what I'm saying. the battery back. Yeah. And then you'll have to retrim it. But good flight, though. Great landing. Yeah. Well, because it's... Thanks for watching guys, please like and subscribe.